Welcome back to Phantom Hourglass. Today, first, let's clear up that little mess. <laughs> but we're gonna take on the first dungeon. The first proper dungeon. As soon as I get my sense of direction back. <laughs> it's been, it has been a little while. Come on. Come on, Pizza Joe. Chase that dragon. Tap that drawer. Tap it. Fairy tap it. I pushed it with my mind. <laughs> Look how strong I am, Pizza Joe! Ooh, this island is a volcano. Oh, for crying out loud. We're not at too much risk of actually getting hit by the rocks, but it does leave a little patch of fire behind and you don't want to walk into that. Is that because fire hot? Too hot for Pizza Joe. Too spicy for Pizza Joe. <laughs> it's a bit spicy. It's a bit picante for old PJ. God, that like singed the tip of my hat. As someone who could eat an entire box of like... <laughs> I thought you were just gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> as someone who can ingest an entire box. You can eat a whole box as long as there's cayenne pepper on it. I was gonna refer to the box of cereal known as Gazpacho Crunch, but that's okay. Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm bringing back all the old jokes from when- <laughs> Good gracious. So here's another instance of using the mic on the DS. Yep, blow out the candles. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pizza Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got my cake, and it's a fucking dungeon, damn! Oh boy, my gift is what I'm always in. I, I was like screaming at my DS trying to get it to work. Fucking go out, candles! Go out! That sounds like my last birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> was it one of those trick candles where if you blow on it, it just comes back? No, I just really had like an, a really existential moment. <laughs> this is just an endless scream. <laughs> How old are you now, Skippy? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> Why did you just... <laughs> Pizza Joe didn't believe her, alright? <laughs> Pizza Joe not like fire, fire bad! <laughs> Pizza Joe was attempting to put out the f candles there too, but it didn't work, is what I got. I tried to blow out the volcano, but it did not work. Don't make haste. Make note, Etrian Odyssey. So you can't see it on the map, but you can't see it on that picture. Those squares on the ground. There are pits there. I mean, you don't really need to write down the path. It is nice to remember, but when you go over there, like, the pits open up when you're three feet away from them. You've surpassed that challenge in fine form. <laughs> you killed three keys, you badass. You killed three keys, so now here's a key. Ah! No relation. No. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can remember it. Uh... Kinda... Kinda defeats the purpose, huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just flat out give it to you. Just look at that. You don't have to be, like, looking at your phone while you're walking or something. <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, too, you can even see which platforms are the trick ones. Yeah, like, they have different shading. Diabolical. Oh, God. <laughs> That is a shortcut back from once we get on the other side. Oh, these things already? This dungeon is too advanced. Electro is same as always. Can't head them directly with a sword. We're gonna need to get a ranged weapon. Or that. Like a jar! <laughs> Maybe just do it a few more times. It could be like snake venom and you could build up a tolerance. Yeah, that's called nerve damage. Yeah, absolutely. 
There's absolutely nothing wrong with nerf damage. All the best people have nerf damage. And we've already got our first dungeon item. Hey, look at that. Compass? Is it the compass? It's the boomerang. Good gracious, look at that. Do I know how to throw it? I had one. <laughs> I had one and I threw it once and it never came back. Might have just been a stick, frankly. <laughs> it looks a lot like this one, actually. The boomerang is one of the weapons that adapts to the DS really well, because you actually get to draw out its path. Totally how boomerangs work. IRL. I think it's a cute way to use the little touch screen implementation. Maybe they should have called it something different because no other boomerang is like, like, if it was like a magic boomerang, they're like, oh, I get it because uh, I control it. Right. But it's just, here's a regular ass boomerang. Just throw it and hope to God it goes where you want. <laughs> God's listening. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a no more treasures. You can also use the boomerang against the electric chews as long as it doesn't hit the wall. Right. Hitting the wall will just cancel its path. Hmm. Unless it already hit what it was going towards. <laughs> so magic. Now, you only have so much distance that you can extend out with the boomerang. But as long as you keep it within a decent sized square around you, you can kind of almost draw it infinitely. You'll get the feel for it. You just can't draw it too far from yourself. They also make short work of bubbles. Much like the uh, first temple in Wind Waker, this one's also stupidly easy. Yeah. It's to get you acclimated. Yeah, to get used to the touch screen. Haha, -ha, that was lucky. Ho <laughs> ho! I never admit to it being skill because I know it never is. <laughs> Sorry, Wario Stone. Okay, but if you gave it 20 rupees, where does it go? Do you just place it in front of it? Into its mouth. <laughs> it opens up and goes, Wah! <laughs> WarioWare Gold! No, I'm pretty <laughs> Time to eat. I could probably still hit that guy with the sword. But it's just if he bumps into me, he'll set me on fire. <laughs> I mean, you could, but now that you have the boomerang, why? Look at that. If you'd paid him for it, you would have just broken even. Yeah, well. It is nice that those statues tell you if there are treasure chests around here, because you don't actually get a compass. I mean, you can already see where keys are when you look on the map. Much like why I never went to college, I never pay for information. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did I pay for books. Screw that. Books are for nerds. <laughs> and for people who don't know what PDFs are. Oh ho ho! I get all my uh, education through Let's Plays, actually. <laughs> well, you're in luck! Look, I've learned so much about how boomerangs work. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to blow candles and how to chase a rat. Well, you're not going to learn much in this case. <laughs> Hunting rats with a boomerang is uh, <laughs> its pretty difficult. That's another important thing that I learned. You, you set up a wall of boomerangs. <laughs> <laughs> and I still kept missing. Cheap, cheap, it's me, the resourceful rat. This is the error part of trial and error in the scientific method. <laughs> Eat my tail, Link. Eat my gross, naked tail. I hope I get to learn how to drive because of this let's play. 
Well, I still don't know how, so... I bet you both could probably pilot a boat. You're right. Oh, he's on my clothes. Ah! Don't let him touch me with his little slimy hands. If my Let's Play history serves right, then that means I can pilot a spaceship. Oh, congratulations. NASA, here I come. That's right. Go work for Tesla. And I did do the 007 games and one video for Sleeping Dog, so maybe I can drive. Hey, there you go, but only an Aston Martin with machine guns under the headlights. And only with casualties. You take what you get. You'll be great at stopping trains. Nope, there's a specific pattern in this one. Oh, for God's sake. There is another tablet around here that tells you the pattern, but I just, again, trial and errored it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's only... I don't know. <laughs> How do you calculate the number of combinations? Is it 4 times 4 times 4 times 4? I don't know. Whatever. Math is another one of those informations that I refuse to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> That's your loss, or is it? See, there's the tablet that tells you. Oh! It was right by the stairwell. <laughs> Quick as you can. You better make some detailed notes. It's shaped vaguely like an hourglass. Well, so are the other combinations, really. Yeah. You'd think I would have put that together in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, trick shooting. Ah, I can't seem to hit it with the sword. Or the boomerang. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm gonna say, maybe you need to blow it. <laughs> that is true. Did you try screaming at it? <laughs> <laughs> well, by the second attempt. By the second attempt, that's just all you were doing. Wordlessly shrieking. You can just hear the noise it makes, the stick noise. Tink. It's a delightfully woody sound. It's also very mocking. <laughs> you hear that? That's the sound of success. <laughs> Dink. <laughs> oh yeah? This is basic. Ha! Huh, look at that. And the boomerang does not burn to ash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on, Pizza Joe! Oh, come on! There. There's a switch over there. It's the one gap he refuses to jump. <laughs> <laughs> he could've made it. There's not a little golden bar down there to tell me I'm supposed to. <laughs> He's got the sense of a horse. He'll be like, there's no way I could jump that. Don't make me do it. I cannot drink this river. <laughs> so the boss keys in the DS games are a little different. They're huge, you have to carry them over your head, and you move a little bit slowly. Oh, this sucks ass! But luckily, there's not too much going on. <laughs> I've already killed everything. I don't want to cast judgment, but this sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this horse shit. Other dungeons and also in Spirit Tracks, because it's the same case in there. Getting the boss key to the boss door will be a bit trickier. There might be actual specific hazards in your way preventing you from doing it. Everything's a goddamn puzzle in these games. 
How can you now? Past the ominous and extremely locked door, you think there might be something big up here? Okay. It's a stoop kid. Whoa. Good looking out. I mean, that kid doesn't really believe it's stoop. Blaz. Blaz. Blaze. So for this boss, we need to use the boomerang to grab these individual little imps and combine them back together. Now, if you look at the top screen, you can see each one has a different number of little spikes on his head. I need to grab them with the boomerang in the order of spikes. I did not look at the top screen while I was recording this, so I didn't figure it out until editing. Oh, holy <laughs> hell. Well, that's only like nine combinations, I guess. Six combinations? Again. Math is difficult. <laughs> I've just cut out all of me faffing around trying to get it right. I want to say this is fairly clever, you know, it, it rewards attention paying, or I, su I suppose it punishes not attention paying. <laughs> exactly. Otherwise, this guy is just not hard. He might shoot fire at you if you give him the chance, or slap you if you get close. <laughs> it slaps you, but it didn't even hurt. No. <laughs> it's just eh. Oh, oh A little pimp slap there is what it was. A lot of the bosses do that, it's just to get you out of the way, so you stop attacking them. Oh, okay. That's the end of Blaze Blue. End of Blaze. So. Oh, Thanos got to him too. Oh! Whoops. You know what sucks? I haven't seen that movie, but because everyone talks about it, I know. <laughs> All I'm thinking of is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Which is frankly more accurate. Do you guys like fairies? Bringing back a classic track here. Uh-oh. Is it another? It's a second fairy buddy. Oh no. Why are there so many? No, it just there's gonna be a swarm around you. <laughs> Buzzing like bees. <laughs> Alright, fuck whoever came up with this I'm Leaf! <laughs> the red fairy! What? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not! You sure you're not Sparky or Flare or something? What do you mean Leaf? Yeah. Leaf of the fire dungeon. <laughs> Well, I live in California, and we have constant forest fires, so I guess there's something there. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Maybe some Californians shouldn't have finished the dungeon. Oh, is the current fire going on in California my fault? Is that what you're saying? I think possibly, yeah, you probably shouldn't have gone into the dungeon. Well, not for anything, this episode is titled Heat of the Moment. <laughs> that was just supposed to be an Asia reference, damn it. Pizza Joe really seems into this. He's just, look, now I have two fairies. I'm double Kokiri. I can put both of them in a bottle in case I die. That's right. So specifically, he's not just a fairy, he is the spirit of power. The next dungeon, we're going to be getting the spirit of wisdom and then the spirit of courage. And once we've got all three of them together, they're actually going to be a part of the game mechanics. As in, they will boost our stats and what have you. Ah. You mean they actually do something? Yep. That's how you stop volcanoes erupting. Kill a wizard. <laughs> there's always a dungeon inside every volcano, and there's a wizard that you gotta kill. Mount St. Helens, everyone was just too much of a goddamn coward to go in there and commit some wizard murder. Yeah, come on, Hawaii, figure it out already, doing your right? melty land. Ring of fire? More like a ring of I'm gonna fuck up a wizard. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can, like... <laughs> well, about the whole volcano thing, you know, that wizard wasn't the only thing we lost. 
We did rip a fairy out of it, that's true. You gotta go in there, kill the wizard, rip a fairy out of it. Oh, for real, Linebeck? Were you here getting your tarot read, buddy? He was in here just hitting on her something hard. Oh, it's so greasy! Okay. I mean, that's cool. Well, that's secondary to making us stronger. That's the more important thing. Right. Well, aren't we supposed to be trying to find Zelda? Oh, I get it. Failed, because you're wearing one. <laughs> this oh. is funny. <laughs> Can you read my fortune? Yoshi, focus. Focus. <laughs> I'm trying, but I just, want to, I just want my fortune to be read. Just focus. The pun was not intended. Let's move on. There are many for each spirit. There are 20 for each spirit. You mean I gotta feed these fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> this is horse. You might have seen at least one of these. Like at the shops, you can buy one sometimes. Hoo-ha. That's why you were playing so coy about it. You're like, don't, don't worry about it. Pizza just slips on the way out because of blind bags. Jeez. Or he slides out like he's surfing. <laughs> Poor Pizza Joe can't get a word in it twice. Oh, okay. I, mm, all right. I guess off, off I go then. I was just standing here posing for the camera. You were about to leave me here! Listen, buddy! I can't. I'm partially deaf in both ears. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two wooden ears! Do you know what it's like to have a wooden lung? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's move to the next one. <laughs> no follow-up from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can all imagine, right? <laughs> Look, I just like to think Linebeck has this horrible life. <laughs> Trying to give him some sympathy. <laughs> A little bit. I do like him, I think he's funny. <laughs> My entire body is made of wood. Wooden everything. Everything from the eyebrows down is wood. <laughs> and anything that isn't wood has a splint. Mm. Or a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Keep rubbing my scalp. So next time, since we currently can't do much with the boat, we need to get some weapons up on there. So after we return to Murky Island, we will be getting a cannon. And then we're gonna have some real fun. I feel like Pizza Joe's adventure is escalating in a very unfortunate direction. <laughs> I mean, that's normal for Pizza Joe, to be honest. It's because he's not wearing the crawfish. War were declared. <laughs>